Okay, guys, I'm going to say that this is a fairly successful system right here that I'm displaying. And um, what I did was I just reversed, I didn't change any settings anywhere, I just reversed the high side to the low side grounding. And I reversed the uh, low side, uh, the second earth ground to the low side of the capacitor, and it performs the same. And it works really good. Uh, it's very stable. This starts at nothing and gradually increases to like 21 watts, I saw, 20.5 watts. As that increases, this uh, charge in the capacitor builds and the output voltage builds. For the inverter, here's the frequency. We're running in around the 40, 48 to 58 kilohertz. It starts chattering a bit. That, in my opinion, is the earth energy entering the system. I don't know for sure, but I, I think that's a feedback that's coming up the ground wires causing that. Uh, the capacitor is still building in charge, and as it's building in charge, the frequency is also building. So it's kind of interesting right here. And it seems to stabilize at about 7,000 volts. Um, and pretty minor, 20 watts. So uh, this acts as a battery or a storage device for high voltage. And that is being reduced uh, through the voltage divider, which probably could be done a bunch of different ways. But it's giving us a DC 600 and 30 volts ish output constant and uh, we're holding at 7 kV there so I'd say this configuration the last configuration any of these here with the dual grounds like this are winners uh, not utilizing this and not anything else I'm just taking the two high sides off those caps so uh, really um, as simple as it gets you know like uh, you, all this could take away and maybe the caps are required I don't know in this setup probably just a pair of diodes like that a full boat wave bridge into a cap and uh, voltage divider and that's the commercial device and this is operating in resonance uh, we don't really need the second resonant transformer but I'm going to put it in but uh, again the, the voltages will be different but here we're 21 watts we are running at uh, just over 7,000 volts at around 44 kilohertz into the cap reducing it to 600 volts to charge your very large capacitor this thing is dialed right down um, I can turn this up crazy amounts it's turned way way back so I don't overfill those caps and have a great big uh, explosion on my table like the last time, right? And uh, who knows what it blew or what would blow or, or whatnot. But uh, this board's completely finalized. There's the tuning, the turnings and the tuning of them and the spacing. You want to keep them to the outside, seven turns, all the same direction. That I found to be pretty good. It's still adjustable if you put them tight together like that I found you can only you're limited to how much you can put through it and right now we are still holding strong at seven 7500 volts ish and uh, 6,000 or 600 600 volts out 670 volts 666 through the voltage divider all right guys uh, looks like a good working system, low wattage, uh, can easily turn it up, easily, easily, but I'd want to do something more with those capacitors, something different, so I'm not worried about overfilling the damn things. Now, the other thing I can do is if I made this system the disruptive discharge system, it would be quite phenomenal because it can fill that capacitor so damn fast in some of the configurations I've shown that uh, we'd be dumping that, uh, you know, 60 joule at a rapid speed into a transformer. You know, that's the original design. And uh, what's shown here can easily provide the power to do that at an exceptionally high rate of speed.
way beyond 60 cycles. That's a given. At 2,500 volts, we're blasting, you know, 12 kV into that. Like, that thing's going to just chatter. <laughs> but uh, maybe that's another device. Right now, it's get this thing working proper. And I think this is the best configuration I've found where I'm not worried about it being too stupid of voltage. Because we don't really need it super high voltage. We just need it high voltage. And uh, that's basically, I think this board's proper now. And depending on what you want to do with the board, uh, what I want to achieve here depends on how this could get hooked up. Because I'm not saying that any of these configurations, they all work differently. So if you do something different here, this is just proven to me that if I put it on the high side, then I want to put the other ground on the high side here. If I put it on the low side here, then I want to put the other ground on the low side of the cap here. And it seems to be additive. Uh, reduces the input, yada, yada, yada. All right, guys, that's it. Ciao.